We're now going to go over the basic functionality of the 6930 Mitel desk set. Looking at the phone, you see it's broken up in two quadrants. You have your fixed keys down here at the bottom, and up at the top, you have interactive keys and programmable keys. The other pieces that you have up here at the top is your navigation wheel, which is how you move around on the system. And then right here, these keys right here work with the interactive display. So depending on what your options are, this is what you're going to hit. Up at the top, this is your information bar, and that's going to always show kind of what's going on with your phone as far as its health. You've got your extension, and then over to the right, you should always have the three computers stacked up because that shows that you do have network co connectivity. And then if there's anything else going on, like this phone right here, that's showing a missed call. That's what the little red circle and the little check mark coming in and out there is. But if I had my phone forwarded, there would be a mark there, an icon for forwarding. If I had a voice message, then the voice message icon would show up there. So this is kind of where you're going to want to look to see what's going on with the phone. Then down here at the bottom on the fixed keys, these are going to be the same on everybody's phone. Where up at the top, there could be different things programmed on these keys from desk to desk. Now, anywhere that you see a blank key, that is where you could program speed dials. Now we're going to get into using the phone for making calls and receiving calls. With the new phone system, if you need to make a call outside of the city phone system, to get an outside line, you will need to press 9 for outside dial tone. That is something different, I think, than what most of you currently do. If you're dialing internally, then you will just dial the extension. Now everyone's extension is now going to be five digits. And for most of the city, the first digit in the extension will be a six. So if I wanted to place a call to someone internally, I'm just going to lift my handset and I'm going to dial their extension. The call rings over here and I can answer it. Now from here, what I want you to look at is what's now popped up here on this interactive screen. I now have the option I can transfer somebody, I can add a user, which is how you would make a conference call, and then if I have a city cell phone, I could actually push my call out to the city cell phone. And then if I press right here, it's going to end the call. It's the same thing as hanging the handset up in the cradle. Over here on the fixed keys, you also have an end call button right here that does the same thing. So I have three options for actually hanging up the call just from here. Now, if I wanted to put this person on hold, if you look at the phone, you don't see a hold option up here because the hold key is a fixed key. So right down here on the right-hand side, the key that looks like kind of like a pause button on a DVR, that's your hold button. So if I press it, if you look at the screen up here, see? This now has the same icon as what's on this button. So this person is now on hold on my phone. If I want to get them back, I can just hit the button, and now I have the caller back. But say I'm talking to this person and another call rings in on my phone. Then all I've got to do, if I hit this call that's ringing in, see it's showing me right there, gave me that quick burst ring to let me know a call was coming in. If I hit that line, if you look here, my first caller is now put on hold. I didn't put them on hold. The system did it automatically for me. And I could actually toggle between the two. If I come over here and hit this one, now this line is on hold. So I can go between the two of them. I finish up with this caller, then I can just hit the end call button, place my handset down the cradle. Now that call is done. I still have somebody on hold though. So if I want to get them back off a of hold, I can either lift the handset or go into speaker mode, doesn't matter. I press the key and now I've got the call. So that's how we're going to place somebody on hold and how you could handle two calls coming in at the same time. If a call comes into your desk that maybe you need to transfer elsewhere, you can do it very easily with the Mitel phone. So we're going to place a call over to this phone. Call rings in. I answer it. And then here's my options for transferring somebody. I'm going to hit the transfer key, and I'm going to dial over here to this extension. 
I can simply hang up. The call is now over here and I'm out of it. So that's what we call a blind transfer. I could have done a supervised transfer and that's where you stay on the phone, you announce the call, then you hang up. So we're gonna transfer it back over here because I want you to see something that's an option in the screen. So I hit transfer, dial over here to 3845. So this person answers. So once they've answered, look over here in this screen. See, it says back to held. So it's telling me if I wanted to drop this person and go back to the caller because maybe they didn't answer what their voicemail did and I don't want voicemail. All I'd have to do is hit the back to held key. Now this call is done on this phone and I've got the caller back on my line. So from transferring, we could now turn this call into a conference call. If you look at the interactive keys right here, you've got one that says add user. So I wanna set up a conference, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit add user, dial the extension, they answer, and then all I've got to do is hit join calls. Now once I do that, everybody hears a beep in their ear, and if you're on the city phone system, you see it says three-party conference. So I can clearly see that I am on a conference call. You wanted to add a fourth person, you would do the same steps all over again. You'd hit add user, dial the number, hit join calls, then you'd have four people on the phone. And you can do inside or outside, doesn't matter. Just remember that you do want to dial nine for outside access to bring in that outside person. And with the MyTel system, you can have up to eight people on the conference call as long as you're using a MyTel phone. We're going to go in and start looking at some of these fixed keys down here. Everybody's fixed keys are the same. And the top one here on the left, if I hit that and you look at the screen, you see, this takes you into a directory. I'm going to use the navigation wheel and I'm going to come down. If I can, there we go. I'm going to come down to corporate. And you might not want to search on your phone. You might want to use your MyCollab desktop client to search for people within the city because it will be a little easier. But if you want to do it on the phone, you're going to hit search. And then you just come here and using the keypad, it is old cell phone technology, meaning, see, if I wanted the L, I would have to hit the five key three times, then the L pops up there. And then I could put in, you know, and I don't know, there's, I don't know what names are in here, but once I get in a couple letters, I can hit search. And if there is somebody, their name would pop up there. So, um, but that's what you're gonna do with the corporate. If you mess up, but with what the letters you're putting in, just use the backspace and see it takes it out. And you can reset it and start over again if you want to also. You'll have the option when you're dealing with calls also from your call history that I'll show you in a little bit to put them in your personal contacts. So to close out of this, we just hit the close button. Now right here where you see the two arrows, this is my call history. So if I hit here, this is gonna show me missed calls, outgoing calls, and received calls. Now right now I have it on missed, but I could just toggle down and it's going to show me the outgoing calls. And remember, it's not just what you see on the screen. So there might be other calls there. If I come over, the way I can see that is just by coming over into this category. Then if I want to go to received, I come down and that's your received calls. I can choose to delete a call from here or I can delete the whole list. Like if I come over here, see it says dial. If I hit this, it's going to dial this person. I can hit add contact and that's where I was telling you you would add it into your personal contacts. Or I can just delete this entry. So if I hit delete, it asks me am I sure I want to delete this. I hit delete and now they're gone. I keep mine most of the time on the missed calls just because they're the ones that are more important to me. I finish with the call history, I hit close and I'm back out to the main screen. Now the next button down is our voicemail key and that's how you're gonna access voicemail on your phone. If I press the key. Hello, mailbox 3845, please enter your passcode. And that's where you're just gonna enter in the passcode, whatever passcode you set up for your voice message box and it'll let you listen to your messages. If you have a voice message on your phone, you'll actually get up here in your uh, health bar up here, you're going to get a little icon that looks just like that for voicemail. 
Now this key right here is uh, your settings key. We're gonna come back to that after we do these others. So I think I've mentioned this earlier, but this key right here is how you can just, it's the same thing as hanging up the handset. It just disconnects the call. The one below it, if that's a portion of redial. If I hit it, see, it's kind of like redialing. It takes you to the call history, but it takes you to the outgoing section. And then I can come over here by navigating over on my wheel and choosing the number that I need. And we all know, I, we used this earlier, this is the hold key. Then you've got your mute key and your speaker. Now, if I'm in speaker mode, then the mute's going to work with handset or speaker. Uh, if I'm using the speaker down here, then if I have a headset and I want to switch to headset, you just hit it a second time and it'll toggle over to your headset. Now, coming back over to the left side, you've got your volume up and down bar. And then here we are with the settings. If I hit the settings and you look in the screen, you're going to see it's always going to bring you up to this middle piece that says status. There's only a couple places you would go in here. And one is the call forward, which is right to the left. So I'm going to click my navigation wheel. It takes me over here to the left. And I just hit select. And now right now there's nothing programmed in there. But if I wanted to have my calls go elsewhere, which right now with COVID going on, probably a lot of you have your calls forwarded elsewhere. You're going to put the number in here. So I'm going to have mine forward over to this phone. So I'm going to put in the extension. Then I have to come over to this box and I have to put a check mark in the center. I'll hit the middle of the wheel. That puts a check mark in that box. Then I hit save. If you don't put a check mark in the middle of the box and you hit save, it does not activate it. It'll save the number, but it's not activating it. So if I close out of here and we look at our screen, it's a couple things here. See up top, you now have the icon that matches the call forward. So you could easily look at your phone and tell that your calls are forwarded. So if someone tries to call my extension, it's now ringing over to this phone and it's telling them before they answer it that this is not their call, it's one that's been forwarded to them. So you, all you gotta do is just read the screen and you can see before you answer the call if it was meant for you or if this is a forwarded call coming to your destination. A couple other things in the settings that you might use. So if you come over here to the right, and I, might, I have to switch my hands, there we go. If I come over here to the right, we're looking for the audio. This is to change the type of ring that you have. Now. Uh, everybody comes with the default ring, but if you sit in a bullpen area, you might want to change the type of ringer you had. All you're going to do is hit select, and you can choose between internal and external, and then you can come over here and choose the type of ring. I hit save, and now that's my ringtone. The other piece that you probably would use in here is the display. On the display, if I hit select, this is how it's going to be coming from the factory it's at level one. Now I'm keeping it at level one so that it cuts down on the glare with the camera, but in your um, office, you might want to up the brightness of the phone. And all you've got to do, see this arrow right here, if you hit it, see the screen is changing. So you're going to want to adjust that to what's good for you. If you have windows by you, that's putting a glare, that type of thing. You get your settings right, and then you hit save, and then you're always going to close to get all the way out. Now that's pretty much all of the fixed keys. So now we're gonna hop up here and we're gonna go over a couple of these keys up here. You know this is your extension and this is just a duplicate of your extension. So this way you can handle more than one call if you need to. I showed you that when we were putting people on hold. The blank keys that you see here are for you to program speed dials. And this phone actually right now, it has two pages. It's got your first page, which it shows you by the circles, which page you're on. If I press the navigation wheel, I can go over to page two. If I wanted to put a speed dial in here on page two, all I've got to do is hold the button down. The screen changes and it's asking me what name do I want to put as the label. And you're going to do the same thing you did when you were searching in the directory. It's going to use the keypad here. So I'm going to put my name in here. So I've got a, and when you're doing this, if you want to put a last name in and you want to put a space, just hit the asterisk twice and it throws a space up there. So now 
I've got the name in there, so I'm going to use the navigation wheel and come down to the number. And remember, if it's an outside number, you are going to have to put 9 in first. But if it's within the city, you're just going to put in that five-digit extension. So I'm going to put in the number of the phone beside me, and then I'm going to hit Save. Now, there it is. There's the name on the phone. So I've just set up a speed dial. If I want to use it, I'm just going to press it, and there it is calling over there. So if I want to get rid of the speed dial, maybe you only have so many spaces and you've got some, a vendor that you're no longer dealing with, it's very simple to take it out. You do the same thing you did to put it in. You press it, and there it is. And all I'm going to do is hit delete, and now it's blank. My 15 minutes of fame are gone. I come back over here to the front page, and just remember, you do have blanks on the front page, and this is a demo phone for class, for training, so your phone might have different buttons programmed. Now, the box down here that keeps blinking, this is a general mailbox that we set up, because many of you do have departments where you're using general mailboxes for people to leave messages at nighttime in your department. And if you are somebody that we've been told to put an appearance of this on your phone, this is what it's going to look like. And if I press this button, it's going to let me go in to check the messages. So all I've got to do is press it. Hello. CRI support. Please enter your passcode. And then I would put the passcode in to get into the mailbox, and then I'd get the message. And what would happen is this would stop blinking. Now, once that's not blinking, pressing the key won't get me into that box. I would have to actually put in the access code to the box. Um, but the mailbox, when it's blinking, all you got to do is hit the key, put in your passcode, and get the messages. Now, over on the right-hand side, we've got two holds here. Those are what we call departmental holds or group holds. You already know that you have a hold key here, which that's for your phone only. But if your department has told us that they want to use departmental holds, then everybody in your department would have these hold keys on their phone if they have Mytel phones. So what would happen is, if I wanted to put somebody on hold and maybe go elsewhere in the department to pick them up, all I've got to do is place them on this key right here. And I'll show you what it looks like. So we're going to place the call over to extension 3846. It's ringing. If I answer the call, then if I want to put them on hold, I press the key, I hang up the phone, and look, it's blinking over here on this phone too. So I could pick that caller back up off a of hold from right here. I'm going to hit the key, lift the handset, and now I've got that caller. So this is for you to move throughout the department or if you wanted somebody else to take the call and you didn't want to transfer it. And that's your departmental holes. And not everybody's using those, so definitely check your phone to see if you have access to those. You see here on the bottom right-hand side, we have a key that says Jane Smith, and that's a DSS VLF key. So that's there so that if Jane goes off hook, I can see that she's on the phone. I could also use it as a speed dial to call her, and I could also use it to answer the line if I needed to, if it's been programmed to do so. So if I lift this handset, see the box goes red. So this tells me that Jane's on the phone. If I hang it up, it's gone green again. And I can also press it and it calls her. So some of you might have keys like that programmed on your phone if we were told that you needed it. Now something we do need to do is we put the phone, we forwarded this phone over here earlier, but we didn't take the forwarding off. So to take the forwarding off, you're going to go back in the same way that we set it up. We're going to go into our settings and see if you remember, we go to our left and that's forwarding, so we hit select. And then you've got to come over here and take that checkbox and clear it out of there. Then you can hit save. Now when I come out, you see the forward icon is gone from the top. So now if this phone gets a call, it is ringing like it's supposed to. Now, as one other thing that you might use is a pickup feature. If we've been told that there are certain people in your department that need to be able to pick up each other's calls, then we've put you into a pickup group. 
There's no specific key showing here for you, but if there's a call ringing in your pickup group, then when you lift up your handset to get the call, you'll see the word pickup will show right up there here in this interactive screen and you'll just hit the button and you'll get that call. But the person does have to be in a pickup group for you to do so. And this concludes the basic phone functionality of the Mitel 6930.